Well today I am taking you garage sailing and rummaging with me to an area wide rummage sale in a neighboring town slash city and there's some things that are just nice about it as it's a lot of houses lining the streets with garage sales. The other downside though is it's so busy and parking is difficult and sometimes the prices are just not what you would expect for a garage sale. But come along with me as we go rummaging. To the haul, I'm going to start with the home decor pieces first and then the clothing. Now I didn't get as much as I did in that last haul, if you haven't seen my huge massive rummage haul the first of the season, go check that out. But um, I did find a few pieces I think that I'm going to enjoy and use and I make a list on my phone for the whole spring and summer garage sailing season. That way I know I can kind of just stick to that list and so sometimes I, I do step away from the list, but it's um, nice to keep an eye out for these particular things. So first thing I found were these candlesticks and they do have some patina on it and they were, I want to say they were 50 cents for the pair and I just love the patina of it, the two different heights and they're just so gorgeous and I can't pass up old vintage looking candlesticks. All right, another item I found, which I really don't know if I truly needed it, but I thought it might be cute on our counter at the little house, our fixer upper, to have like a coffee station, put a, like the Keurig cups, snacks, something like that. It was a dollar for this wooden box. Um, no brand on it or anything, but I just thought it would be really cute to corral something on a counter for guests or even on a coffee table with some coffee table books or something like that. Continuing in the home decor area, I found these three paintings. Now this is the largest of them all and I'll do a close up here for you for three dollars. So each one was one dollar a piece. I wasn't sure if I should pick them up but they are just so cute, so darling. I'm not sure if I like the frames but such spring. Um, it just draws me in with the lady in her sundress and a hat, the kids out playing, and the other one with the old cottage on the road. 
and it's by Lee K. Parkinson in 90, it looks like 1990. So I just thought they were so pretty for $3. I could not pass up that artwork. All right, and then I also got this lace uh, piece for free, actually, because um, I got something else at the same place. And so it was originally 25 cents, so I just asked for it to go along with the other thing I got. And so I have it on my piano top to kind of protect it, because I really didn't have anything covering the top of my piano, and I just think it adds that nice cozy cottage charm. Maybe I'll use it at the little house, because I'm not sure if I really like it for my style here or not but it was just really darling and cute, so I bought that. And then I also got some little storage bins just to do things for like our little um, back porch for storing toys, stuff like that. So I got a purple one and a pink one like this for 25 cents. And then another one for $1.50 that is holding my daughter's outdoor toys like bubbles and chalk and little play cup and stuff like that just to have handy to grab now that it's nice out to be able to use that. And then do for some outdoor stuff, I got this little white table and I'm going to spray paint it black to go along with these Facebook Marketplace black um, bistro style chairs that I'm going to use over at our fixer upper out on the little step patio area that we have over there and the chairs were $20 a piece and it was from a friend and I wanted to support them so I didn't even counter offer anything or um, bargain with them but the chairs are adorable the table will work perfectly just to have as a little outdoor seating area to make it cozy when people enter and the table was three the chairs were 40 together and then a couple more outdoor pieces I've been looking for so a flower pot this was a sale with two older guys and they just asked for a dollar for this flower pot and I'll need to drill some holes in it but I've been looking for a bigger flower pot that um, will hold some even some vegetables or something as well but still look cute and then just this stack of metal little fencing and I've already put some in my garden too because my dog seems to want to lay in my new addition of my cottage garden area and so just to kind of protect that area the whole stack was a dollar so I couldn't pass that up at all either all right I think that's it for home decor now I didn't get anything for myself which is fine I don't need anything right now um, but for my daughter I found these really cute little Carter shoes they are like summery little sneakers so adorable and they'll work well to get wet if they do play at the park and so I just thought I couldn't pass it up for a dollar either at that same sale I'd been looking for a spring coat for her because she has like a winter fleece but the temperatures are just so different in the spring um, and a hooded one for like rain this is a London fog brand it was five dollars but I was okay paying for that this was just so adorable I don't know it's so cute got the buttons on there a cute little bow on the back it'll be perfect to go splash in the puddles in the rain and then at that same sale I just got a couple other pieces for the baby to come just this little three month tank for free actually I got two of those because they were 10 cents originally and then um, a couple other sales. I think this little dress was a quarter and it is a three month as well. And then this super cute sleeper for zero to three. I just loved the pattern. Little clouds, oh, I couldn't pass that up for a quarter. And babies often go through sleepers so fast anyways. And then, this is probably my favorite one. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw it. But this cute little newborn dress. This will probably be her first Sunday back to church dress. And then the little bloomers that go with it. That's a newborn dress. So it's just so adorable. I love the little like vintage style sleeves. So cute. Um, just could pass it up for a quarter as well. A couple more pieces that I found for Navea. This patriotic dress was a quarter so I thought that would be perfect and it's her size a 3t for um, for the July it's a jumping beans brand sorry I didn't name the other brands there 
And then this other just fun little play dress. She actually wore it yesterday, so I pulled it out in dirty clothes to show you. It is the Health Tex brand. And I just love having little girls in dresses when it's warm out and play dresses outside. And then one little toy I got her just because she was along with me too when I did this rummaging. So just this Melissa and Doug instrument puzzle. And since it was a music teacher, I couldn't pass this up for 50 cents. And the sound doesn't work right now. It just probably needs batteries. But that is what I got for our little girls too. So that is what I got for my haul and um, rummaging trip that I had. It's so enjoyable, especially when you go with a friend and just find some fun pieces for great prices. These ones really weren't that outrageous. So anyways, hope you enjoyed coming along with me and seeing what I got. And I will hopefully be doing more of these probably before baby comes as well. And I don't know if I'll get out as much when I have a newborn, but we'll see. All right. Talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.